the geologic column. What is the geologic column? Well, evolutionists believe that there were various ages, that there was the age of reptiles, there's the age of mammals, there's the age of man, and so forth. And each age is supposed to have its own layer of rock. And they date the layer by the index fossils, and the fossils they date by the layers. That's circular region, which isn't the highest form of logic. The geologic column is really just an idea rather than a column of rock. They use these index fossils to date the rock. For example, if they find a trilobite, then they claim that's in the Cambrian rock. There's a picture of a trilobite. One index fossil that they used years back was the coelacanth fossil. And that was supposed to be a transitional form between fish and amphibians. Uh, supposedly this coelacanth became extinct some 70 million years ago. Its fossils were used as index fossils to date the strap. But in 1938, they began catching these coelacanths off the coast of South Africa. I have pictured Marjorie Latimer. She was a curator of the museum in the port town of East London. It was in South Africa. And she was a friend of a local seaman who had caught fish regularly. And this captain allowed Miss Latimer to look over his catch every day and to take any unusual specimens for the museums. Now one day, in fact it was December 23rd, 1938, she saw what she described as the most beautiful fish that she had ever seen. It was about five feet long, it was pale blue, it had some silver markings, but she had no idea whatsoever what this fish was. But at the museum, she took a picture of it, showed that her specimen bore similarities to some prehistoric fish. She made a sketch of the fish, sent it to Professor Smith at Rose University, he recognized it as a coelacanth. They at first tried to preserve it, but they were not able to. But they, within years, began catching other ones of these coelacanths. This picture here of even a scuba diver swimming in an area where a coelacanth fish was. Now, these coelacanths did not show any signs of this being a transitional form between a fish and an amphibian. And of course, evolutionists no longer use this coelacanth as an index fossil because it is not a prehistoric fish. It didn't become extinct 70 million years ago. They just weren't catching it, weren't aware they were still alive. Now, where can the geologic column be found? Nowhere in the world is a geologic column found except in textbooks. Also, I might say that in most areas, the strata is out of order. Approximately 77% of the Earth's surface have seven or more of the 10 strata missing. Even the Grand Canyon only has about five of the 10 strata systems. Because they're out of order, Many of the so-called older strata are on top of the younger ones. Also, fossils from different zones are being mixed together. That's easily explained by flood as well as the out-of-order strata because the flood mixed it all up. But it's very difficult for evolutionists to explain. David Ropp, who is curator of the Chicago Field Museum of Natural History, he said that it really is a mistaken notion that there's any order whatsoever in the fossil record and that there really isn't a need to explain it or accommodate it. On the other hand, blood geologists could explain some order that's seen some places. For example, ecological zonation. It is natural that the animals that were at the lowest levels would tend to be buried first. For example, the fish, the crabs, lobsters, and so forth at the bottom of the sea would have been buried first by a flood. 
also a hydrodynamic sorting. Things of spherical shape tend to settle faster than something of a, say, a flat shape. So you would expect things like brachiopods and some of the spherical type things to be toward the bottom of the level by the fact of hydrodynamic sorting. Turbulent waters are effective sorting agent and it tends to segregate particles of similar sizes, shapes, and density. And then thirdly, mammals, bird, fossils, would in general be found at higher elevations than reptiles or amphibians because they have ability to run or fly higher than the others and they would naturally be buried last and would probably be at the higher levels. Very few bird fossils are found because they would have tried to fly away and only the exhausted would have been trapped and buried. Also people would probably have climbed to higher elevations at the flood and tried to climb trees and so forth before they were eventually